without an intro, let's get into the build. So, as usual, we go for singeing and searing, no compromise. However, dealing with Cabal enemies proves to be harder. So, I switch out my two other fragments for resolve and torches. Thing is, Cabal enemies have a lot of health and they are, they are like Swiss army knives. Go too close to them, they melee you. Go too far away from you, they shoot a grenade. Either way, you're losing the same amount of health or more. So, you're losing at around half of your health. And sometimes, you lose your hammer. You lose your hammer, you've got only your grenades left. I figured out that solar grenades here actually applies to all the grenades here. Not just your solar grenade, but also applies to fireball grenades. Reason why Ember of Ashes was swapped out is because due to my artifact perk of flare up, we have scorch many scotch stacks. And I figured out in during my testing that one firebolt grenade is enough to ignite upon direct hit. Plant a firebolt grenade directly onto enemy, you get one ignite. Confirmed. 100% confirmed. Okay, so I swapped out a redundant ashes for the resolve and for torches. Um, I swapped out, can't remember, I think it was Imperian. Either Imperian or... I can't remember. Anyway, it's one of them. So yeah, I believe it's Imperian. Reason why Imperian is redundant is because uh, when you exit out and re-enter a uh, sunspot, you actually restore your duration of the restoration. You extend restoration every time you go in and out of sunspot. Same with Radiant. You knock an enemy with baby hammer, you get back Radiant. It's auto-apply. It auto-applies, uh, so so it doesn't really help. Imperium doesn't really help. Right. So, figured out that torches will be a better idea. So not only you get more damage for your weapons, but also you can stun barrier champions. But during my testing, I figured out that for some reason, I wasn't able to stun barrier champion and pierce the shields even with Radiant on for some reason. I don't know why. So uh, until that gets fixed, we'll see about that. But I, for what I know is that the weapons get enhanced. They get more damage. Singeing and uh, searing still the same and pretty much mandatory for this build. Uh, Roaring Flames, Soul Invictus, I don't need to explain. I did a past build video about that. Um, and everything else stays the same. So I'll be using um, my new Adept Hung Jui and Oma PS6, but I'm testing between Philotactic Spiral and Ongma PR6, but I feel that um, Ongma PR6 is better for me. I tried Under Over and Harmony and also uh, Adaptive Munitions turnabout, but I feel that uh, Ongma PR6 gives me a better advantage. Not only I get a overshield, but I also get Adaptive Munitions, so I, I stun the champion faster. And while stunning the champion, I also get a shield that allows me to deal and stay at that position to deal damage to the barrier champion without needing to flee from the current position I'm at. Hung Jury is just a uh, stun unstoppable champions, but you can switch pulse rifle on the top, a scout rifle on the bottom, it, it depends, right? Okay. But for my other build, I like to also go for Battle Scar and uh, sky bummers off. 
I like this. I really like this one a lot also. But I find that this build is better for Kabal. Specifically Kabal enemies. I learned it from Hydroponics Delta. Specifically this build is better. And uh, Tractor Cannon it uh, it weakens enemies so it's easier for you to melee them makes the melee process a lot faster and for my mods we have uh, double ashes to assets so every time we bomb an enemy we get quite a good amount of uh, super energy back and Belly also is nice, but if it's possible, I like to also swap out with a double hands on. But that's fine. It, either way, it's fine. Doesn't really matter too much. But in the case that I lose my baby hammer, then I use my grenades to get back my mail, my hammer, and this is where it comes in momentum transfer. And focusing strike basically I just bonk enemies and then I get back every class ability I get. But I need to focus my build on class ability, so what I did is double utility kickstart. It works for me. I tested it out, one kickstart only refunds like I think 25%, double kickstart re restores 50% I think it was like that but I did this test quite a long time ago but I know that two utility kickstarts work and since I'm quite rich in my energy I can just put it on distribution but if you don't have enough energy for distribution it's, it's totally fine you can put bomber or outreach depending on what you want but Outreach is actually better. And but like I said it depends. And then here is just pretty much anything you want. But whatever you do, don't use an emergency reinforcement because ten percent damage reduction is not worth it. Especially for a 3 energy armor slot, not worth it, don't use it. A stacks on stacks, nice. If you have a few enemies around, then you stack more. But this can be e easily swapped out for like um, absolution. But it's up to you, it's completely up to you. But I like stacks on stacks more since I keep on losing health quite often and then my class ability keeps getting depleted and expanded so uh, stacks and stacks better for me in terms of hydroponics delta loss sector so uh, in solution I like to use in solution because in lifefall you have a lot of ops of power spawning so you get lots of class ability cooldown so not only it cools down your ability but you still gain armor charges which refunds 50% or 25% based on the amount of quick starts you have that's really nice uh, innovation we just keep it at that because sometimes when you pick up off some power more, most of the time you'll be melleeing around and uh, each melee you do you drop one all of power one all of power that means you you're probably using all all your grannies up already to refund that hammer so at the melleeing phase you want innovation to speed up the grenade charge right speed up the amount of grenades you you can get we are getting two fireball grenades because of this artifact perk which is nice right so um yeah i really covered that we are pretty much covered 